Let's do a quick farm review on vasodilators. So just as its name says, it's going to cause vasodilation. So we're gonna open up those vessels. So medications in this class include nitroglycerin, minoxidil, and hydrolyzine. Now, based on how these medications work, they're gonna be great at treating conditions where we have angina. Angina a lot of times is occurring because your coronary arteries are not getting good blood flow through them. So they can't feed the myocardium. So we can dilate, let's say that vessel that's got narrowed, we can increase the blood flow. Also, it's helpful in heart failure, which will help decrease the workload on the heart, hypertension, coronary artery disease, pulmonary hypertension, and peripheral vascular disease. And how these medications work is that they dilate the vessel. So whenever you're dilating a vessel, what this does is that that's gonna drop the overall blood pressure and this can help decrease the workload on your heart and your vascular system. Now, this is a good thing if you need it to happen. However, it can lead to side effects. So when you dilate, what's gonna happen? It can cause side effects of hypotension. It can also lead to flushing. A big thing like with nitroglycerin, if you ever give it uh, sublingual, you can see that the patient starts to get flushing in their face, their face becomes red, and they feel really hot. Also, it can lead to those wonderful headaches, like those nitroglycerin headaches, orthostatic hypotension, nausea, vomiting, reflex tachycardia, and edema. The nurse's role includes, of course, monitoring their blood pressure, their heart rate, and their ECG, and assessing their status of their flushing and if they've developed any swelling. A lot of times we give these medications because the patient is having chest pain. So whenever a patient has chest pain and you give these, you want to stay with your patient and you want to assess how their chest pain is doing. You want to look at where the location is, is the location changing, the onset, the quality of the pain, and the frequency. Plus, while your patient's on these, whenever they go to change positions, you wanna make sure you educate them on to do this very slowly because they could pass out. Okay, so that wraps up this video over cardiac medications. If you'd like to watch more videos in this pharmacology series, you can access the link below.